you think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever-important cursor is controlled using the left stick. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Why don't you ever look around now? You can zoom right out by holding R2 and pulling down on the right stick. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. You can zoom back in by holding R2 and pushing up on the right stick. This is your HQ, centre of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet and press the X button. This hey? is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you whilst he files the risk assessments. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to and pressing square. right -o. And here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance right by pointing and pressing the square button. His work team will always tag along. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five and then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Right Great home. job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press X whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the Call Work Team icon. Alternatively, you could just tell your foreman to walk his sorry feet over there. Watch the build! It's a real delight! If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press X whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. Now, let's have you stock the building up to 10 units of wood. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. Yeah. 
You've made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the directional buttons. Press the X button to place site. Well, that one's squeezed in nicely. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using X and move him to the site by pointing and clicking Hello? square. Whilst My people time. are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using X to select him. We should have this new house knocked up in no time. First home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit meh. Right to look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press X. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this dodgy looking pair. Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough and they might damage your property. I think it's best we use the other couple. These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Hover your pointer over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the directional buttons to move easily between icons. Currently, these guys are paying rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go. Your bundle of joy is on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the Redecorate Rooms button. There are four rooms in this gaff. Each of these rooms has a different benefit, such as increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump! There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select Upgrade Room to start redecorating. You will need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Oh, 
marvellous. Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed, and more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenant. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers or more tenants, as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it will be shown there instead. Now we need to teach you how to look after your estates. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the repairman. Please select this fine gentleman right, over calm down. Your repairman's a right spanner. If you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. Hello, hello. What's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. has stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. All what do right. you want? All right. Too late! He's disappeared down your tube station and he seems to have stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. <coughs> Looks like something is kicking off in here. Let's have a look inside the house. Some people are never happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. They're obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Right that was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. However much you have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the directional buttons to browse through the available estates or click on them directly. The larger the estate, the more expensive it'll be. Please select the Brompton Estate. Now, buy the estate by clicking on the Buy Estate icon. Now we've got some more land, you can finally build your next home. Go back into your estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create another of the tenant homes. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more variety. Please select a simple lodge this time. Right, 
You can now place this lodge anywhere on your new estate. You will see that you can orientate the house by moving it closer to one side than another. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing square. Once happy with the position, press X to place it. Now get those work teams on site to finish the building off. you need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the slob tenants again, like before. Oi! Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more, so they will be ready for when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Well done! Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom, like last time. Now, please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. OK, if you are ready to move on, then we need to build the final low-grade property. A Soweto hut. Once you do this, it will unlock the next resource. A larger garden will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate the garden with objects. You can push out the edges of the plot by holding R2 and pressing the directional buttons. Once happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing X. Now, get one of your work teams on site to finish this building off. <laughs> Due to the high quality of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper houses after you've built the cement yard. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's push their rent up by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the world when inside a building, you can toggle the radar on and off by pressing R1. Have a go before you exit the house. 